Welcome to the Cape Cod Maritime Museum. I'm David McCaskey, the Interim Executive Director. I've been here for about three months now. Um, I stepped in from the board as the treasurer and um, just enjoying being here and developing the museum and trying to uh, live up to our mission of preserving, protecting, and promoting maritime history here on Cape Cod. Right now, we have a fine art exhibit going on, a collaboration of eight New England maritime artists. Uh, from John Stobart all the way to Liz Mumford, everyone with a different style, different technique of still producing maritime art. We welcome everybody to come see it. Every year we rotate our exhibit from the Fine Art Gallery. Last year we had all of John Stobart's. We had 43 paintings, 18 originals, the most ever accumulated in one place. Um, John continued uh, this year in giving us some paintings for his display and he's very helpful for the museum. Some of them are for sale with some of the proceeds going to the museum as a donation. So we're grateful to all the exhibits and the artists for giving us the chance to do this collaboration and display their art as well. The Pete Color exhibit is really a reenactment of a boat builder shop back to really being as authentic as possible in the days of when this was being done in the 50s. Pete Color was a local folk hero here for years and um, I'm really honored that we've been able to um, present that exhibit to keep some, some of the history of the local talent going. He's been on display with us now for three years it's a donation of an exhibit from the Mystic Seaport uh, Museum, and it'll be rotated out next year. But for people to really have an understanding of boat building in Hyannis with a local famous boat builder is really an opportunity to see how they did it, how they planned it, how they executed in their different shop. We just finished a restoration on a 47-foot peak color boat called Triumph. It was just restored under a grant from a private party. It was all done right here under uh, plastic and in throughout the winter. It involves 17 various volunteers um, with over 850 hours of volunteer work. It was launched two weeks ago and it's going to be used in a child training program for sale. Okay, these boats are were designed by Pete Colors, whose shop is replicated in our upstairs exhibit. He built this one. This is a uh, gentleman's weary, and this is a sailing skiff that was built at Concordia, where he also worked. This is our cat boat Sarah that was built right here at the museum, uh, upstairs where our art gallery is now. It was started in 2004, and if I remember correctly, it was launched in the spring of 2007. It was about the only exhibit, this is the first exhibit and the only exhibit for a while here at the museum at its beginning. But we, it's a little late going in the water this year, but we put it in the water and you can go for a sale with it. It's a 19 foot, um, it's a replica of a Crosby cat boat that was built in 1886. I welcome everybody to come to the museum to see our fabulous Scrimshaw exhibit. It's been presented to us to be one of the biggest collections on Cape Cod right now. And it's a collaboration with uh, various donors from all over the Cape to um, really present the history of Scrimshaw. We've built a special cabinet for it. It's been uh, really, there's people always just staring into it and there's people just fascinated by the whole Scrimshaw process, what they do, how it's lasted, how it's continued on in this history. Our ship's model collection, it's a collaboration of various donors that have donated um, or loaned to the museum various um, ship's models, fabulous examples. There's a few up there that have been hand built by various donors. Other ones were um, donated and purchased along the way, but they're still a great collection. Um, to really promote the history of how ships were presented in ships models and presented to either a backer or a syndicate maker to build the boat, put it in production, use it in various uh, maritime activities. The museum has a wide range of classes. 
either for adults or children. Uh, for adults, we have uh, Sailor's Valentines that are produced here uh, on a class Monday and Fridays um, with a great instructor. And they're actually producing their own Sailor's Valentines. At the end, it's finished and put in a box and it's framed and it's just stunning to see what these people produce. All with shells, all under the skill of a trained expert who's educating them and then showing them how to produce their own. Also, we do a lot of boat building here. There's kids boat building going on in the working boat shop. Um, usually they work with volunteers. We have a, a wide variety of volunteers that have been either in boat building or maritime or marine trades all through their careers. And now that they're retired, they come back and they help the children build boats. Uh, we have a 12-foot Bevins rowing boat. We have a sailing uh, model of that as well for sale that has been completed and we're also uh, coming up with a 10-foot Bevins skiff. The treasure hunt that we have here at the museum is a magical opportunity for parents to participate in exploring the museum with their children and it's really magical when the grandparents bring their grandkids here because then they're off and doing the uh, treasure hunt and it's really just a wonderful time for them to share the experience of the museum and really get involved with learning maritime history. The kids love, first of all, they love going outside and playing on the boat. The second thing they love are the knots. Upstairs there's a display that we can show them um, and have them do a hands-on exhibit of knot tying and learning about knot tying and learning what sailors have been doing for the history of sailing. is tying knots, fastening cleats, using pulley systems. The importance of preserving the Maritime Museum is critical to preserving, protecting, and promoting maritime history of local, mostly Cape Cod, but otherwise um, history of all over uh, New England, really, for what the whaling capital of the world was in Nantucket and in New Bedford and here on Cape Cod as well. It really developed a lot of what the waterfront is today, how we're using Cape Cod. There's still a lot of boat builders here and we're constantly trying to get them involved with presenting and promoting all their history as well of the legacy that continues on.